barbershop conversation guys feel free to subscribe but i just heard 78's video i had to pull over and listen to that shit man that shit had me motherfucking rolling because <laughs> he's so real he's so real and so honest with y'all motherfuckers and y'all motherfuckers need to take heed to what this motherfucker is saying because i'm gonna talk about he said something that was so point i've been wanting to talk about this for such a long time because for those of you who don't know i wrote a book called why did i sleep with him giving niggas the game on how to get pussy and uh, he said son i gotta roll up these windows i'm not sure if you guys can hear that wind i'm i'm here in glendale as you guys know floyd mayweather's conor mcgregor fight just happened i'm floyd is here in la i'm supposed to meet him tonight uh it's gonna get hot in my car but anyways man and he said some shit that was so important and i want to double back or how you say it uh I want to reiterate what he's saying. Nigga, if you put money and lies before the truth, she going to leave you for a slick talking nigga like me. Now, some of y'all motherfuckers be like, oh, cornball Fred, corn nigga. Let me tell you this. I, I've had the gift of gab, that corny ass articulate game because women don't hear it. And he said that smooth talking nigga at the supermarket. Well, I was that smooth talking broke nigga from day one, and I just happened to fall into some success. Now, I'm not going to, I I don't talk about my dick, and I will never talk about it in public. But some of the girls you fantasize about on TV got my phone number. And uh, it's just, I can't reiterate it more. The most powerful weapon you have as a man in the game is give the woman the option. They're going to lose their fucking mind. They're going to lose their fucking mind when you give them the option. Here's what it is. I'm going to tell you the truth. It's something about you that I really, really liked and I couldn't get away from it. But here's my truth. You can rock with me either way. But worst case scenario... You'll be in contact with her for a long time because if you give the woman the truth, my car getting hot. If you give the woman the truth, you're going to have them for life. And that's real. There's nothing that they can hold against you because how you start something in most relationships is typically how you end it. And uh, I know I got a young, I got a lot of young players out there that are playing the game and doing what they do. Teach yourself. Practice. You got to practice this shit to build the confidence. And you put it in your terms. I'm not saying that there's a there's a script. But there's an order to this. You, you know how you had the for you method in math first, outer, inner, last? Nigga, there's a, there's a method to getting bitches. And I'm sorry if women are offended. I'm talking to my men right now. So if the language is offending you women, just know I'm talking to men. And we're literally in the barbershop right now because in the barbershop, we talk about current events, pussy, sports and making money and success and uh, amongst other things. But family, you know, how's your son doing? And. Uh, but this is the realest shit, man, 78. This is a motherfucking Hall of Fame fucking video if I've ever heard one, man. And I'm just double backing. I'm just reiterating what the, what what that king is saying, man. Give them. There's so many ways I can go with this video, but players, give the woman the option. All right. I can't reiterate it more. Give her the option to go yay or nay. All right. And you're talking to a dude. I'm telling you, that slick talking motherfucker that you think don't have a chance to fuck your woman. Guess what? What you're not, he is. So his win so his window. Is a lot easier to go through. For example, you're at home paying the bills, taking care of the kids, making sure everything is okay, right? All she wants to do is feel beautiful, right? There's a lot of times you go throughout the day, you, you forget to make your woman feel beautiful, right? All this smooth talking nigga gonna say is make her feel, feel beautiful. And at the end of the day, he gonna do that about 13, 14, 15 times. He gonna get her Instagram page. Three more times. 
he gonna get her email and phone number. Three or four more times, them motherfuckers having dinner two cities away from where you work or where you or where she live. And then a two hour hotel. Because she know the nigga ain't got no money. So she just keeping it real and keeping it gully with the motherfucker. They gonna pay the forty dollars for the two for the two hours and he gonna fuck the shit out of your girl. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling all my players out there. Give the woman the option. Always give the woman the option. All right, it will empower you. You're going to feel so liberated. And then, guess what? She knows you got side chicks. She knows you fucking with other girls. She knows she ain't the only one, but she loves competing to be the only one. Remember Drake said, "You ain't the only one trying to be the only one." Women know that when they got a motherfucking uh when they got a motherfucking man that they feel like is the uh the quintessential man. They know they're in a doggy dog world and um Women are buying for your time and and uh, and don't worry about and, and he hit something that was so poignant too about having the great looks and having every A B C D X Y Z. You don't need all that shit. I was an ugly motherfucker when I was little. Man, my nose was bigger than my face, right? And now, nigga, I'm a king right now, and I'm just being straightforward and as honest as I can be with y'all. You know what I mean? I'm not in them streets anymore, but I'm just giving you guys the game, all right? When I was young, <laughs> man, I'm just, I'm just giving you guys the game, all right? The most beautiful woman in the world <clears throat> is always, always gravitates towards that smooth-talking gentleman. Remember, the gangster nigga gets old at 30, 31 when she wake up and want to have kids in the family. That shit gets old. I mean, really, really, really old. So if you playing that role, you got one hand, you got one, um, <clears throat> one hand holding your cell phone, the other hand holding your pants up, nigga, that shit gets old. I'm telling you, that's short term success. But if you want, if you want to believe you can get a bitch in Milwaukee, L.A., Idaho, Brazil, Montenegro, South Africa. Be that quintessential man that always gives a woman the option. And it has nothing to do with your money. All right? Lying and using money to get women is going to flip on you at some point. And you're going to like the wrong, you're going to fall, you're going to get emotions for the wrong bitch that's just in it for the money. Garen, and this ain't no 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Nigga, this is a 10 out of 10 story. You're going to fall in love or fall in like or have deep emotions for the bitch that don't really like you, but like the lifestyle that you can provide for. All right. That extra three or four hundred dollars that you spend on her a month keeps her from working an extra shift to pay her a uh, fucking uh, uh, car note and shit like that. So I'm, I'm telling you guys, give the woman the option. They will love you forever. I'm telling you. I mean, they gonna love you so much. If you don't see her for two years, nigga, she gonna hug you, and the man that she would gonna be so fucking stuck and so fucking confused. Like, she just hugged that nigga. Like, they've been fucking the whole time, and he he can't. He gotta respect game. He's gonna be like, oh, she gonna be like, oh, that's one of my friends from high school or some lying. She gonna come out with some lying. That's not your problem. But I'm just telling you, give the woman the option. I'm gonna do some more videos on this 78 video. That shit was fucking powerful. I mean, man, if my son was of age, I mean, he gonna get the game from me anyway, you know, because I want to, matter of fact, you guys go to Amazon and, and order my book, Why Did I Sleep With Him, or read the caption on it to give you guys some form of idea, all right? I literally gave you guys the game in 160, 150 pages, and it's easy reading because you're going to enjoy it, and those stories are basically my stories. And I slayed the dragon on many nights. I mean, how, how many women do you want me to have at one time? I've done it. You know what I mean? And uh, so I've done most of everything. I've never slept with a man, none of that shit. All the homosexuals and shit that be in the comment section. But I'm just reiterating, y'all. Give the woman the option. Because lies and money will run short eventually. Alright? Keep it going. 
all right? Trust the process. Trust the journey. Nigga, you think one out of ten women's going to take it? No, nigga, five out of ten. Trust me when I say this. And when the women get older, you're going to get more. Them 30, nigga, middle-aged women, let me tell you, they have a lot of nothing and a little bit of everything. All right? They feel empty on the inside, man. They're just going through the process. He, he touched this in his video. they just going through the journey. Life, is this it? I think 78 said. Man. Man, 78, you just inspired me to start talking about this shit more. Because I'm the, I think I'm the opposite of 78 in terms of how I got my woman. And, but the game is the game. The game is real. Nigga, what's understood don't have to be explained. Man. I'm get man. I'm man. God damn. Seventy eight. You gave these motherfuckers too much, and the motherf motherfuckers should be thanking you right now. And about that threesome shit, I'm gonna do another video on that shit. <laughs> you're talking, to, man. You you talking to a real one, man. And I'm just, man. I wish I can divulge everything in terms now, but I'm older now. I'm thirty nine. You know, I got families and shit like that. So I I can't. I, I don't want to. But maybe I will. Cause I feel no. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? But Anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, 78, great video, real talk, and uh, uh, all y'all motherfuckers feeling insecure and jacking off on Friday nights, listen to his fucking video, man, and uh, get y'all shit together, get your confidence up, because these lies and shit that you tell these women, it's going to catch up with you. I mean, at the end of the day, lies are meant lies are meant to be found out anyway. You know, you're gonna die. You gonna and, and and people some people go through life not getting caught, right? But when they die, guess what they got to deal with? <laughs> you're exactly right. You know, the side chick that was with them for 15 years didn't know that he had a family, and she didn't know and. Great video, 70. Anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, Conor McGregor, uh, just signed today. And I'm just going to tell you guys, you guys, I did a video last week or two weeks ago. I told you guys this shit was happening. I told you guys I got a text or a phone call or something. I forget which one it was. Tell them that the fight was going to happen because they want to take money from Oscar De La Hoya. So they're going to put it at $99, whatever the case may be. And people are not going to have money to get the Triple G Canelo fight outside of the Mexican audience. Right? And they're going to lose money. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversation. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, talk to you guys soon. Peace.